Welcome to a YouTube where I am having a photo. And since Coral's not working and I can't do what I wanted to do, I thought, I thought, to, why not to do this? And I got a bit distracted of what I was supposed to be doing, which is not unusual for me. And I made a game called uh, Save the Furries, so I'm going to be playing that. And if anybody wants to review it, be free because uh, I just I don't I don't want just me to review it. I want other people to have a go at it and say what they think. Say whether it's rubbish, whether it's cool, whether it's trash, whether it's nice whether it's broken because let's face it it can get very frustrating well since Cole had the um, screen caption I can't really screen capture this uh, the the only thing that's close to a screen caption is this yay yay look at that lovely scream As you can see, this is Harry Potter. Now the only thing is, why doesn't he help us? He knows this, he knows magic mumbo jumbo. Why doesn't he just come and help us in our little quest? In fact, it would have been easy if he could just, uh, just, just uh, help us uh, find the furries. Why, why magic up these checkpoints and I'm grateful for it but it could have helped us a little bit more and uh, the other thing is we only get to see him in one stage and this is the stage this is the only stage we get to see him the bun the bunny okay we get to see we get to see the bunny quite a lot before we before we uh, actually before we actually uh, start the game going, but uh, but how but Harry Potter, this wizard, we only get to see two times in one stage. What on earth is he doing? <laughs> is he having a date with Hermione or something? Because Ron likes Hermione. <laughs> having an affair behind him. Never mind. You know what? I can't be bothered anymore. Let's just get to the end of the stage and finish this all off. Yeah! Bling bling rabbit! Out of curiosity, I have no idea what that is. I think it just tells people who's, uh, who's playing what, what, if we're interested. I don't recommend doing this to people at Halloween. Yay, bling bling! Oh shoot. I just discovered what the I'm stuck button does. Ah, a lovely meadow of green. 
Mystery Furries that were monsters got away. I'm never gonna get the. <laughs> I'm never gonna get all of them now. I'm never gonna get the hundred percent and the good ending now. Oh yes, that's right. There's uh, there's actually th three different endings. Uh, there's two bad ones and then there's uh, one good one. The bad one if you, the bad one is if you run away from the boss. The uh, the bad one after you finish the game is if you don't get all the, if you don't get all the furries, which that that didn't end all the mons. If you don't uh, jump on all the monsters, as that's your bad ending. And the uh, and the good ending is if you've jumped all over the, all the monsters. <laughs> and Harry Potter turns it back into a furry. So to note in the boss stages, it's not it's not like the other stages. There's no coins, there's no checkpoints, which can really be difficult, really be difficult when once the game starts get, get once the game starts to get going. It's just a, it's just a one on one between you and the and whatever the boss will do. The first boss stage kind of eases the player into it with these hills. They know that with these long hills, they just they know there's going to be a boss because it told it tells them it's a boss stage, and this happens with every boss stage. And there's our first boss. So what you have to do is uh, jump on his head like normal enemies a uh, number of sub times, but with this one it's more times. There we go. Why do I think Super Mario? Let's do this. Oh. This is where the challenge starts to get a bit more difficult. Because if you go down there, you are you um your best chance is a glitch or you have to press the uh, I'm stuck button that will lose you a heart which is up there this is where it uh, starts to this is where you start to think it's just a regular platformer so we forget forget about the furry humor and we just think uh, just a regular standard platformer. Oh great, now the game's glitched up. Got dressed, but I think I'm gonna I think after this I'm going to wash up after my kindred's uh after my kindred's goes well wash because this game's really getting me on the bend. Oh yeah, and you know that little thing that uh, sometimes your person does when you uh, tap the back button. That can become very annoying in later e in l later in the game. That's actually spello Spelloders Spelloders are uh, bad there. Okay, some more furries for us to uh, oh shoot. Some more furries for us to jump on. Yeah! More monsters for us to jump on. Oh, fudge. That's it. I want that shield.
Well, they're not furries. They're, 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 there was furries, but the team turned into monsters and we have to jump on their heads. Oh boy, a lava bit. I just love these parts. Oh yeah, and those are not uh, monsters, those are robots. Just to clarify that. So yeah, the players uh, gets introduced to some uh, uh, a big pit of lava with some uh, ob objects, uh, obstacles and platforms, whatever. And I'm sorry for the vacuuming, that's uh, my kindred. I get the feeling that the, the main level theme of this is lava. Oh great, more of those annoying robots. The player here is uh, is left with a, a de decision. Try and jump high and get all the coins. Or if they fail, they will get a crash, crashing defeat on those objects here. Doing their very best to jump out of the jump from platform to platform out of the lava. Once that's all done, this stage is completed. And we move on to the next one. This is stage t three, the boss stage. Wait. Be betrayed by a furry. For the same furries I'm trying to help. Can't believe a furry bear would betray me like this. The furry bear makes a maze, and he says, "You'll never finish my maze." And laughs. Okay, so we won't do your maze. We just won't do it. There's got to be another way to uh, save the furries around you. Just don't do it. So basically you have to do his little maze. And I kid you not, it's difficult. You, The player goes down this uh, tube making him feel small, small and helpless. And then... Then the real tricky bit starts. They have to make their way up to this waterfall. Stand on these blocks that will crumble at their feet, which will drag them back down again. And we kid you not, there's quite a lot of water in this level that you have to swim through. The idea for this boss actually came from Sonic the Hedgehog themselves. It's not like a it's not like the normal bosses where you where you would just jump on the head. With like Sonic the Hedgehog's labyrinth zone, you have to navigate your way out of a tricky maze or well labyrinth. 
in order to, uh, sur to in order to survive the get game, and you have to get above above water very quick, otherwise you'll hear that date that scary noise, that scary music where you're going to run out of air. Of course, you're not underwater in this all the time, but uh, it's uh, it's a different boss approach. To be honest, I thought you had to jump over these, but you don't. You just you can just walk past them. Look, there we go. Simple as. This part reminds me of Labyrinth Zone. Shoot. After the player uh, goes, makes it past a few obstacles. He's then met with this obstacle, where he would, where they would jump on, but this would not allow them to jump. So they're basically a sitting duck with this sort of material. And with lava popping up, goodness knows when, it makes it a bit more difficult to narrow down. And once they've completed it, they are greeted with the bear at imprisonment, saying, OK, OK, you win, and you beat my crazy maze. I will I will stop making complicated mazes and start to to help the furries. Good luck in, in Tech City. Yeah, that's pretty much stage two in a nutshell. The uh, boss boss uh, battle uh, keep, keeps on dragging the player back down. They reach up to the top, but then you get it gets taken away from you as you uh, plummet to the ground again, and then you make it to the top again. But you but you were uh, but your plans are foiled. Oh, uh, by uh, by. Uh, I beat getting and then you get to the lava and you think oh boy you see that bear still has a few aces up his sleeve and he's not going to let you walk out and walk out freely once you, once you beat him he sees the arrows of his ways anyway next is tech city and I kid you not it has the most annoying music I've ever heard. It sounds like a shopping mall. Make it. Stop, make it 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 stop. Okay, so it might not be that annoying, but it comes close. And oh yeah, don't forget to jump on those things that have just flown away. Yeah. I don't think I'll be completing this game anytime soon. Basically, it so my uh, com my uh, computer froze when I was playing. It well, it didn't become responsive, so I had to, to had, had to cross everything out and uh, and just uh, decided to just to strip my computer down because it. Uh, was unresponsive. 
well uh, the um the game does get a bit the uh, as before tech uh, tech city is <coughs> is much more trickier than the other levels and it uh, i think it after the first level it does get easy and you have these these enemies that you have to jump on that's it for now